Okay, so this is a video I have to make and publish right away because I can't actually go on recommending these printers anymore. Um, despite the fact the MOSFETs stay relatively cool and seemed adequately reliable and they were, had fans on them, um, I, I was actually fairly confident in these MOSFETs for a Chinese printer. Um, you know, MOSFETs can run up to 125 degrees, supposedly without damage, um, and these ones weren't even hot to the touch, and again, they had fans on them, it, it, um, and I know that's not necessarily a good thing to go by, but, um, j just b by temperature alone, but I, I figured it was a decent indicator, um, and I was fairly confident in these. However, I was out of the house with this printer printing, which is not something I would normally do, but, um, it's something I have done from time to time. And, uh, it's something I was more comfortable doing now that I have this, which will get a video eventually. I actually have one recorded on it. It's just I haven't uploaded it, um, yet. And this one's gonna be uploaded first because this one's much more important. Um. This is a way of turning on and off the ATX power supply that controls this printer remotely via Octoprint, so fortunately I was able to shut off this printer before it could get any worse. But, uh, you see it's off now, we're gonna turn it on via Octoprint. Um, and right now Octoprint is connected to this printer, which is printing, so Octoprint isn't even connected to this printer, it isn't gonna be sending any commands. Um, and if we turn it on, you can see it boots up. Um, and the heated bed starts at 25 degrees, and if you look at the MOSFET, and it goes up to 26, as you can see there, and it's going to just keep climbing, because if you go down here to the controller board, and that's why the uh, z-axis is so low. It was in the middle of a print when I turned it off. And I've just taken off the fan thing, because the fan thing has cracked a little while ago. And I figured I might as well rep replace it. But yeah, re replace it. Because I'm hoping to get a new controller board from FLSA. But you see, the board, the, the thing's already risen four degrees in this, uh, just this span of a few seconds. And if we look at the board, the little indicator light for the heated bed MOSFET is on, and actually, if you can see, the heated bed MOSFET is the one MOSFET that's not covered by these cooling fans. Um, and that's the MOSFET that's switching the most current, which is just a terrible design. And I've measured the voltage coming out at those two contact points there uh, with my multimeter, and it's putting out about 7 volts instead of the 12 volts, which is a sign of a failed MOSFET. If I turned the MOSFET on, it would probably be outputting the full 12 volts. Um, <coughs> and, and the way that indicator light's designed, I don't think it's designed if the MOSFET's supposed to be on, I think it's just designed if the MOSFET is switching out current. But you can see we're already up to 33 degrees, and it just kept climbing. So the bed was supposed to be at 60, because I was printing a PLA part, to, and I happened to check in on it, and the bed was at 70 of 60, and I'm like, okay, this is really sketch. Um, and I set the bed to zero. I'm like, just turn off the bed entirely. And it kept rising. It rose up to 75. And at that point, you can see it's still rising. Um, and, and at that point, I went, okay, screw this. Um, and I shut the ATX power supply off. Because even if the printer had entered thermal runaway, which this printer has done before, because this uh, probe in the hot end has been jiggled during printing, um, and that has caused the printer to enter thermal runaway state and protect itself, or attempt to protect itself. Even if it had done that, because the MOSFET itself has failed, the bed would have kept rising. And I don't know how hot this bed can get. Um, it probably wouldn't have caused any serious damage, but it could have theoretically... Again, I don't know how hot this can get, but if this had gotten hot enough to start melting things, if I had left it for a couple hours unintended, did just the bed steadily rising? Like, I, I, don't, even, I, I don't even want to think about it. Um, I, I'm very glad I was able to shut it down remotely. Um, you can see the bed's still rising. A and FL Sun's response, I, I don't know what they're going to respond to this, I, I just emailed them. If they do the right thing and send me a new board, 
Um, and I'm going to put a heat sink on the MOSFET and hopefully that fixes it so that then this doesn't happen again. And I'm going to do it on this printer as well. Um, but um, I, I don't know about their response to this, but I, I know this LCD has been intermittently just displaying garbage. Um, this LCD is failing, I think, or either the controller board's failing and not sending good signals to the LCD, and that's part of it. I, I don't know, I'm just gonna try to get a new LCD anyways, um, with this controller board, because at this point I'm angry with them, and I have filed a complaint with Amazon, um, which is where I bought this printer from. Um, I hadn't filed it previously, but when this display was intermittently displaying garbage, because they refused to send me a new one, and that was a few weeks ago. Um... Bed's still rising, so I'm going to shut it off now. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, don't buy them until further notice. Um, because th this is really sketchy. Uh, and if it comes to it, I might do what many people with the ANET A8 do, and buy some of those external MOSFETs, and use those to switch the bed, because those will get the job done. Um, that, you know, that, that it'll get the job done much safer, it's just they're a giant pain. Uh, and they take up a lot of space, and they're not super expensive, but they're... I, I, I would rather not use external MOSFETs. Um, but, but I might have to, because at this point it's becoming a safety concern. Um, to me, at least. Uh, yeah. I'm just really upset by this. Um, it's not the support experience I had with them when I first bought the printer. And I think clearly when you first buy the printer, they're like, oh, let's give them the best support experience possible. Um, and then it's now that I've had the pr because um, they're much more likely to file an Amazon return within the first little bit. But once they've had the printer for a while, um, that they probably thought it was fine. Uh, and this is through their Skype support. I don't know about their email support. Their email support was what I was mostly talking to before. And then they told me to go to the Skype because that's the engineer, um, supposedly. And I, I just stuck with the Skype for this. But I don't know if their email support's better. And their email support is who's going to reply to my Amazon return request, presumably. And I don't even know if they're in contact with each other. I mean, I'll tell them about the Skype support. Um, yeah, I, I, I just am upset by this. Because this is not what I was expecting to have happen, um, at all. Um, yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say. Just, uh, don't buy this. They don't support them. Because it's, it, it, it's a dangerous product. And yes, the a and is a dangerous product as well. The a and doesn't even have fans on its, uh... MOSFETs. This one at least has a fan on the MOSFET for the uh, hot end, but it, it's a terrible design that they're cooling the hot end uh, MOSFET and not the bed, which pulls a lot more current. Um, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. Buy this at your own risk, I guess. I, I'm just repeating myself. I'm exhausted. It's a Friday. Um, I... Again, really wasn't expecting this to happen. It scared me um, a lot, and I, I just don't even know what to do. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a 3D printer horror story that you probably weren't expecting, and I, I really need to stop rambling at this point because this video is approaching 10 minutes, and no one's gonna watch it. 10 minute thing about me rambling about uh, how 3D printer could have burned my house down. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, that's all. Bye.